What's good gamers? It's your boy Nick, you back in another video. In today's video, I'm gonna go over one of the most lucrative coin making methods in the game to get you the most coins possible at the cheapest rate. So it's a low coin making method, it's a high coin making method. No matter what you're doing, this will work. As y'all can see, I'm in a 74 Cravon LeBlanc for 900 coins there that's going to be important to remember for later obviously it's not as important now you guys can just kind of throw it to the back of your head and just remember that so 74 there obviously some of these are going to be a little bit harder to find 1.1 there not looking terrible on that 74 wide receiver is usually my gold spot i just bought one a second ago at a 74 for i think 850 coins Something in that area. I don't know. It wasn't really that important. As you can see, 74 for a thousand coins there. Honestly, because I know I'll need maybe a few extra for this video, I'm going to open one. All right. I'm going to buy one of these right now. Again, this is all crucial to the coin making method that we're going to be doing in today's video. So I know this is a boring first step, but make sure to get 74, 75. So around 1,000 to like 1.1 thousand coins. Don't go above 1.1. If you're above 1.1, you're kind of just, I don't know. I mean, you're still getting profit, obviously, until you go up to, like, 2K, but still wouldn't do it. As you all can see, a 75 a Jacoby Brissett Browns legend right there. Dolphins legend, I don't know. Who knows? Not an Eagles legend. Jalen Hurts is the Eagles legend, of course. Anywho. Again, you still see 1K there, 1050. I mean, honestly, this is pretty cheap right now. And boom, there's a 77 Eagles legend Zach Pascal for 250 coins. That is actually huge. And I did see another one after that for roughly 500 coins. And that is a Randall Cobb, which honestly on its own could be a coin making method. Randall Cobb for 500 coins. There's no shot he's going that cheap, is he? No, so that's roughly three. Three grandish. It looks like you're selling it. Just got it for 500 coins. Again, sometimes you'll pop up across golds that actually have insane value above even what you could get out of my coin making method. Obviously, if they sell for more than what we're going to be doing in today's video, just go with what's more profitable. So if you're in a gold that's 100. <laughs> If you're in a gold that's 100 coins and it's 79 overall, chances are if you sell it to a regular person, it's going to be worth more than 2,000, 2,500 coins. But again, the ultimate goal here is I'm starting this video at 2 o'clock and we're going to come back at 3 o'clock and we're going to see how much profit we make on the method. But I just wanted to show you guys a few ways to get these snipes going by position. Certain positions hold more value. Sometimes D tackle is there. Sometimes it's like really expensive. It all depends on what EA is up to. But anywho, we got about five or six there. Nothing too crazy, but enough to do it. And we got a Taylor wrap right there for another 250 coins. That's huge. Honestly, getting a few of those at 250 coins. When you guys see the profit on that, it's going to be absolutely massive. Again, that's one where realistically I could sell for three grand, but... Doing it in my method, I just know he'll sell a little bit quicker than doing it that way, or else I'd probably just sell him. Put a 3K and take that all as profit, and another 250 there. I'm not sure how these are being popped up, but hey, I'll happily take it. I'll have to look at these filters more after I'm done with this video for this first section. But I don't want to waste too much of y'all's time, so that's about five minutes of just scrolling the market. I've already gotten quite a few cards that I can use. So now we're going to go over to the sets. And we're going to go to type. And we're going to go to. Apologize for that. We're going to go to program, actually. And we're going to go to core team items. We're going to go down to playbook. Obviously, offense, defense. It doesn't really matter. I have a few playbooks that I like to do. Obviously, you guys can do whatever playbooks y'all want to. If y'all have your favorite team, honestly, I would always go with your favorite team. So, in my case, my favorite team is the Eagles. So, we're going to start off with an Eagles offensive playbook now. Again, this only cost me a 74 overall player, or a 75, whichever in this case. Which cost me anywhere from 250 coins to, at a maximum, what's the highest I spent there? 900 coins? Maybe 1,000, I think I spent on one card. So not bad, we're going to do an hour just to see how many sales we can get within an hour. So once these are all done off the auction house, I'll let you all on the number we ended with. So starting off with a quick 2,000... 
coin profit right there if that sells within the next hour. Now, the next teams I'm going to do are just teams that have a good overall. So, Eagles, obviously, either way, they were going to be at the top of the line because they're the best team in the NFL. But a secondary team you can go with is the good old offensive Bills right here. Now, the Bills, again, this let's just say this cost me 900 coins, selling for two grand. After tax, I'm going to put it at 24. 50. So after tax, I'm getting a little bit over 2,200 coins, I think. Yeah, 2,205 coins. I just did the math there quickly in my head. But again, that's so that's after tax. So it cost me 700 coins for the card. Or even 900 in this case. I still have 1,300 coin profit. And that's an hour. So times that by 20, at least 20K an hour. That's just profit, but realistically, you're turning that into 40K. Although you only see a little bit of it as profit, it still obviously keeps going up. Because say you make 1K here, and then you can make two more uniforms, and just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. On this one, I know the Chiefs usually sells a little bit higher than where it's at. So I'm putting it at 29. I still think that'll sell. If it doesn't, it's not really that important. But I'll see you guys. And we are back after allowing one hour to pass with still 20 auctions live. After having multiple playbooks sell, we have officially made 20 grand, if not more, in just one hour. Now, obviously, the reason it is, if not more, is because some of these out of this 20, I had to buy more 74s to re invest into putting those up so obviously some of my coins that would have been considered profit i just spend right back in there now obviously my bids are not important i'm not sure why i showed that but what i meant to show was my playbook sales as you can see bing 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 and these are obviously some previous sales prior to Today, we're, as y'all can see, some of my uniforms are going for 6.5 thousand coins, 5 thousand, 4.4, 6 thousand, everywhere. So this one only has a minute left on it. This has a three. Obviously, you can tell the art going down on the clock. But in general, I just want to show that in one hour, I made 20 thousand coins. So on average, let's just say you were on the game making playbooks for about... An hour, really, you could make about a hundred of them. So you sold those throughout the day, 24 hours to sell. Realistically, you should be guaranteed about 200,000 coins a day, but you could make up to, say you are 20K per hour for the entire day. We're going to pop out the calculator just to make sure I do this right. Pretty sure it'd be 480,000 coins in a day. But I want to make sure I'm doing this right. So 20,000, you're going to multiply that by 24 hours. So let's just say you're on a game for 24 hours consecutively. You should be able to make around 480,000 coins. Based on me just profiting 20 grand there. Although technically I could have had higher profits than that. With a little bit of luck from EA. Now let's just say you only play, let's just say you're a modest gamer. You only play like 6 hours a day. 120 grand, 5 hours, 100,000 coins. Even if you're only playing 2 hours a day, it's a quick 40 grand you can make on the side. So ultimately, this is the best coin making method in the game. Where you could almost make 500,000 coins in one day. Other than that, it's been your boy Deca Z. I'm always sharing the best coin making methods with you. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button if y'all are new. Other than that, it's been your boy Deca Z. I'm out.